Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. This week, I'm going to be reviewing Masters of the Universe Icons of Evil number one, Trap Jaw, by Robert Kirkman, Carlo Pagulian, and Ron Riley. The comic tells the origin story of the iconic Masters of the Universe villain Trap Jaw and was published by CrossGen Publishing in association with MV Creations in 2003. The story opens shortly after Keldor became Skeletor with he and his soldier Cronus arguing over Skeletor's leadership abilities due to his mind now being unstable due to the destruction of Keldor's face. Cronus takes it upon himself to challenge Skeletor for leadership. Skeletor blasts Cronus with energy from his Havoc staff, sending him crashing into the wall behind him. Skeletor dispels him from Snake Mountain, stating that he's no longer welcome, and muses as to how long Cronus will last with, without the protection of Snake Mountain. To that, Beast Man and Whiplash throw him from the Sanctuary of Evil. Alone in the fiery wasteland of Eternia's dark side, Cronus mutters that Skeletor hasn't seen the last of him. While alone, Cronus gets attacked by a tribe of warriors who view him as a trespasser on their territory. Cronus easily defeats the group and takes on the role of leader, stating, This is my territory now. You and all your men take your orders from me. To which the once leader agrees. Cronus and his new tribe begin uniting the factions of the Eternian Wasteland, freeing the people from the tyranny of their former rulers and then conquering them himself. Hail Cronus! The people exclaim. His army conquers tribe after tribe until he's amassed an army so large that Cronus leads his army straight to Snake Mountain to once again challenge Skeletor as ruler. The two battle atop a cliff until Skeletor uses his Havoc Staff to burn away the flesh from Cronus's face, revealing a green skull underneath and completely eviscerating his right arm from the bicep down. Not willing to accept defeat, Cronus once again launches his body at Skeletor to attack, but the Dark Lord shatters Cronus's jaw with the mighty right hook. With no jaw, no face, and only one arm, as Skeletor holds Cronus by the neck over the edge of the cliff with one hand, the former warlord begs for mercy. Due to Cronus proving himself to be an asset by amassing such a massive army, Skeletor spares his life. He then orders Triclops to take Cronus into Snake Mountain and fix him the best he can. Triclops constructs him a new robotic arm and a metal jaw. Eventually, he and Evil Lynn have a falling out as she states that she used to respect him, but since he chose this over death and that he begged for his life, she lost all respect for him, to which Cronus states, I wasn't begging for my life. I was trying to strangle him. As to why I'm here now, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. He then tells Evil Lynn that his name is now Trapjaw. This story is meant to be a prequel to the 2000X Masters of the Universe animated series and was released in September of 2003. The story itself is really good and the writing is well done. The art matches up perfectly with the art style of the 2000X animated series. I highly recommend picking up this issue from your local comic shop and is everything you ex would expect coming from legendary writer Robert Kirkman. And of course... If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.